This is Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 76. And the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord Yahweh, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Barak for Yahweh, Barak for Yahweh Shai, Barak for Yahweh, Barak for Yahweh Shai, Barak for Yahweh. Barak Shai, all praise, honor, and infinite glory goes to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rakakadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Double honors to apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel consists of you so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. You make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel today. If you do not look like a typical black, Hispanic, or Native American, you can still be an Israelite through your father's seed line. If your father's seed line goes back to it is like man, so your spirit bears witness, and this is the key, okay, to prove that you're an Israelite, even though you may not look like one. If your spirit bears witness, so your spirit's proof, it is evidence that you are an Israelite because you are drawn to this 100% word which comes out of the camp of Great Millstone. You are drawn to this word, no doubt about it. You're sincere and you have genuine faith, which is a gift from the Most High, which you can't fake. And you fit the curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter. And you believe in this message, the gospel. Gospel meaning good news. So you believe in this word. I'm the brother Zakar from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp in Philadelphia, PA. And the topic of this video is going to be, do not let your sins hold you back. Do not let, okay, your sins from your past, okay, hold you back and bind you up, trap you, okay? Allow you to not push your best effort for the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Okay, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 16 and verse 76. And the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord Yahweh, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Okay, so every Israelite who was Okay, born in this American captivity. Okay, for, throughout all the, across the globe, all the Israelites. Okay, when they were born from their mother's womb, they did not know every single law, statute, commandment to keep. Okay, all right, lost in a Gentile state of mind. Okay, thinking you're black, Hispanic, or Native American. Okay not knowing the proper guidelines to take on life, okay? You being lost, all right? Committing sins, okay? Not knowing you're committing sins worthy of death, okay? You constantly thinking about who you were before the truth, all right? Allowing that person to hold you back, allowing those thoughts to overtake you and constantly be dwelling in your mind of, oh, I was that person. So since I was that person, I cannot get saved. That is a demon, okay? That is a distraction. That is the spiritual demon Satan in your mind, okay? Constantly thinking about thoughts in your mind of, oh, I'm worthless, I can't do anything, woe is me. 
I might as well stop trying. No, you only fail when you stop trying, okay? All our righteousness are as filthy rags, okay? But the Heavenly Father is still going to save his elect because they're going to overall change for his sake, okay? So you praying for the Heavenly Father to change you and not believing he's going to change you, okay? Not believing he's going to forgive you for the things you did in your past, it, it means you didn't repent, okay? You're supposed to change one's mind, okay? Having guilt of your former letdowns, your former sins, but not letting that guilt overtake you, okay? Not letting that guilt make you feel like you're worthless. You're just due for destruction, okay? Because that's not going to give you no hope. That's not going to give you no faith to push if you think you're already destroyed, okay? If you think you're just destined for destruction, okay? Because the Heavenly Father is going to wake up a great multitude of people who did things that may be who, 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 who their prior lives, they're not going to be proud of, okay? Because during the darkness, you have still a lot of Israelites who are in the darkness, okay? So if the Heavenly Father woke you up now, okay, you know there's going to be a lot of Israelites who woke up, okay? Living their lives may be up to the Heavenly Father make, may make someone who's 60 repent, okay? Someone who's 40, who did things that, who've been living a life of foolishness compared to the eyes of the Most High, okay? But the Heavenly Father woke you up, all right? Appreciate the Heavenly Father woke you up, called you out the world, okay? And ask for forgiveness because he will be a merciful power if you're sincere and if you want to change if you really had that intent, I want to stop and become a new person for the Heavenly Father's sake so I can glorify him on earth and rehearse the righteous acts, which is my reasonable service. That's the right thing to do for the all-powerful Heavenly Father, okay? Because he deserves praise more than the praise he gets. He deserves infinite praises. You can't praise him enough. Okay, you can't serve him enough. Okay, that's why in the kingdom of heaven, Israelites are going to be serving him forever. Okay? So letting the spiritual demon Satan just dwell with thoughts in your mind. Okay? Of, okay, let me, th oh, let me think about my past and let me try to make that build me up so I can keep pushing. Of course it can be a motivator. Okay? So you won't stay near from that old person you were. But of course, if you keep dwelling on it day by day, thinking about the same person you were, that's that can over consume you because you're in this weak flesh. You're not invincible in this body. OK. You're not invincible. All right. Letting thoughts just ponder in your head. OK. Can lead to Satan overtaking you. Okay, which is a scary thing. So you have to, all right, move on, focus, get better. Of course, think about how you want to stay away from that person. But of course, believe the Heavenly Father is going to forgive you. It's Isaiah 64 and 6, but we are all as an unclean thing. And all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. So all our righteousness are as filthy rags, okay? Filthy rags. We're not being saved by the deeds of the law, okay? Not even the slightest. We're not being saved by the deeds of the law, okay? We're being saved by faith. And through that faith, we are perfect. Not perfect in the deeds of the law. Perfect through the blood of our Lord Yahweh Shai by Yahweh by Shem Shai. Okay. Slakia, our Lord Yahweh Shai, whose blood was spilled. Okay, we're made perfect through us being part of the elect. Okay. Receiving the Heavenly Father's grace and mercy. Okay. Because we need to realize that we need Him. Okay. 
We need him for everything, for every minute thing. We need the Heavenly Father. All right? So do not let your sins weigh you down, okay? This is Mark 11 and verse 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. So when you pray, believe that you're going to receive what you ask for. The minute you stop that prayer, believe you're going to re believe you received what you just asked for. Okay, believe, just have that belief that you received what you just asked for, and that's gonna drive your actions if you sincerely believe. If it's genuine, okay, it's gonna drive your actions. Okay, it's gonna drive who you are, your character, who you're striving to be, a, a righteous vessel. Fit for mercy by the Heavenly Father. Okay? Pray, fast, afflict your soul, get into a humble state. All right? And while you're weak in that humble state, pray to the Heavenly Father. Okay? So you can fix all the, the diverse thoughts and things that the spirits and demons say and throws at you. Okay? Because the spiritual demon Satan is going to use, he's going to use his um, his crafty devices, his tactics to overthrow you, okay? But we had the Heavenly Father. We had the spirit and power of our Lord, which can overcome Satan, okay? You just need to believe. It's all about that faith, that trust, that belief, that confidence. Second Ezra 16 and verse 67. Behold... Yahweh himself is the judge. Fear him, leave off from your sins, and forget your iniquities, to meddle no more with them forever. So shall Yahweh lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. Okay? So forget, all right, about your iniquities, to meddle no more with them forever. Do not let those carnal fleshly mishaps okay letdowns failures allow you not to receive salvation those carnal thoughts you gotta think about you have to really think about that a carnal thought to allow you not to be had that faith and that belief and confidence that the lord's gonna save you when you pray you're you're not even sure about it no, do not do that. Do not do that. Okay? This is Romans 8 and verse 24. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doeth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. So we are saved by hope. Okay? What is hope, you may ask? If you go on enemaonline.com, you get hope. It will say having the theological virtue of hope. Hope for salvation. Mercy. Trust in God's word. Also to have trust. Have confidence. Assume confidently or trust. Okay? To assume confidently. All right? Just had that. The minute you pray, believe he's going to. Answer your prayer. Okay? That he's not going to let you down if you sincerely seek him. If you pray and fast to humble yourself. Okay? And try to set everything right. To move on forward. Asking the Heavenly Father to cast demons from you. To allow you to be overtaken by your carnal thoughts of this world. To allow you not to go and push forth effort for his sake. So do not let your iniquities, your sins weigh you down. Okay? Let's read this. Second Ezra 16 and 67. Behold, Yahweh himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities. To meddle no more with them forever. So shall Yahweh lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. You have to believe that, okay? 
You have to believe that. Lord willing, this video is edifying. All praise, honor, and infinite glory goes to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rakakadash. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Yasharala. Shalom.